the Carl McKenzie GMB Union convener lot uh, in Scotland. So I'd just like to ask you, Minister, here was talking there about the pay freeze and no compulsory indemnities in the public sector. Can you clarify, is that the public sector, does that include the local government or is local government outside of what calls the public sector? Just, uh, a, a very specific question about the pay freeze, does it uh, include local government? Well, we don't uh, dictate to local government what we do, we work in partnership with COSLA. But we are very clear that the principles that we are seeking to operate, principles and practices we are seeking to operate in Scottish Government in relation to the pay freeze delivering the benefit of no compulsory redundancies is one we'd like to see replicated in the local, local authorities. But we do have to work in partnership. I think that's the important thing. Um, sometimes, across a, a range of policy issues, uh, there are calls for central government to take control of something. We don't happen to think that we necessarily in Edinburgh will make better decisions than are made by locally informed and accountable people. But we do recognise the challenge. There will be very significant, uh, significant engagement with local authorities. I, I just learned yesterday a little interesting fact that might sort of inform you, your thinking of how this will happen. Uh, leaving aside the three Ireland local authorities, there are 29 local authorities on the mainland. There are now only two local authorities in Scotland on the mainland do not have at least part of their area represented by an SNP constituency member. So I think at the grassroots of the SNP, as well as at government, there will be a very clear engagement with local authorities across Scotland to make sure that we get the right kind of outcomes here.